Normally I reserve these for my let's plays, but only because it's been a while. How's it going YouTube? It's your boy Ron. We're going to be taking it back a little bit in time. I want to go ahead and try to make an improvement on my Pokeball round two. Normally I would go chronologically and start taking care of Challenge Cup, but only because of so many difficult tries and not really getting anything through. I wanted to take a break from that at least until I can finally actually do something, or at least get a proper run in, and go back and beat a time that I did just recently. I know I can get it down a little bit, as long as I can get a further improvement closer to probably the 30 minute mark, then I know I can at least have something better to build on. But I want to just take it back and see if I can, and hopefully get more improvement from there. But let's not make waste, let's go ahead and begin the run. 3, 2, 1. Let's get a good start, Kadabra. Let's see that. See that critical. Still a good team. The number of remaining Pokemon is three to one. Will this do it? <sighs> the last Pokemon goes down. And there goes the battle. All right, pretty good start. Just continue on and see how, how we can still fare. Not off to a great start. Oh, it's Voltor! The foe is weak. Now's the time to attack. The rain continues to fall. The number of remaining Pokemon is two to three. Here comes Thunder! That's a hit! Yes, it's going down! We're eagerly 
awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon. Oh, with the Zoomerus! Hmm. I wonder if it brings out a Zoomerus because I didn't knock out Lantern. You normally would bring out Dugon if it is that team. In all honesty, doing Surf over, I mean, doing Thunder over Miracoat didn't really make a difference. So, safer approach is still two Thunders. Cedra. Okay, that's still that's still fine, and the rain is still up. Thankfully, I think this is the last turn, anyways. Just give me that win. Cedra has bad special D, so All right. at least we're still within the six and a half minute time frame, so we're still good. We're still good. Missing the range on Lantern did waste some time, so it, in all honesty, it just prevented it from being a time saver. But as long as we're still within the time, time frame here, it's not a big deal. i rather maintain pace in the first four fights. If I get a couple min a couple second saves here and there, that's fine. But it's up until Alyssa app. Well, it's really up until Clifford afterwards, where the time has to be really, really saved well. But really, it's Alyssa after. here cadaver let's go <laughs> it was more optimistic than anything else but the other one looks tired what that ah that didn't do much a psychic blast yes it's a hit oh it has no strength left Pokemon will join the battle now. Oh, it's Sandslash! All right, Sandslash could be the common. Now I really need this rollout to miss from him, and that way I can get Kadabra to do his part and roll over everything. Miss, 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 miss it! Ah. Yeah, I'm at 44. Unless I get a crit on Graveler, then it's pretty much still just on par with time. But it should be Graveler. If it were Sunflora team, it would have would have brought it out ahead of Sandslash. All right, Kadabra, this is where, this is your moment. Moment to shine in glory. Give me that crit. I know you want to, I know now's the time. Aw. All right, never mind. It's Graveler's time because he's supposed to miss. Ah. Oh, oh, I got the fortunate roll. Oh, I got the fortunate roll. I got the very low wrong Graveler. That's actually just as good as a crit. A crit would have been better. But missing the roll is just as good. I think that's even rare because I always not... Graveler has always managed to do at least 40 damage. 
and he did 38. So I really got super fortunate with that roll. Good job, Kadabra. May have not critted, but you held your ground, and that's just as important. All right. Clifford was a, already a pretty good time save. I mean, it was already a good time on him. I just need to get lucky again. <laughs> or at least maintain the luck. would be nice. Eh. Oh, even with the crit, it wouldn't have done it. Yeah. No tank is just bulkier. And without a... And without a swagger boost, it's... It's not really gonna do much. Normally, Mischievous would come next, but if it has Pupitar on the team, then it will bring that over. So we'll see. The next Pokemon needs to be it's really just a matter of getting lucky on the Mischievous more than anything else. Oh, Alright, so it is Pupitar Mischievous. I can one hit the Pupitar. It outspeeds, and I think Your it'll Pokemon do. What does it do? Oh, it still does Swagger. All right, Pilot Swine. Ah. All right, it's all right, Pilot Swine. You can afford that one hit. It's all right. Oh, that's what he tries to do. So the last is going to be Mischievous. I don't think... She, well, no, she can't even attack. She doesn't have any attacking moves on my Pyloswine. All she can do is Confuse and use Thunder. <laughs> and um, Screech. I forget what her last move is. But it's not an attacking move that can threaten Pyloswine, so... Her only option is to Confuse Ray. So I at least have one more opportunity before I can probably fall down and get hit myself. All right, Pilot Swine. You got it. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You can do it. Good work, Pilot Swine. Beautiful girl. Beautiful. The plus four boost. No way. It's living that. All right. We got a little unfortunate with the the self hit and the flinch, but at least it made up for it by knocking out the mischievous with Pilot Swine. So in all in all, it's still not a bad fight. Still a time save, regardless. Well, not a time save on Clifford, but, you, you know, it's on, on the actual overall run, it is. Alyssa onwards, about luck. Just gotta get lucky. I 
Okay, I was about to use self-destruct. I would have really cried. Alright. It won the speed tie. I mean, I, wait. I, no, I, the, I forget what it has. I, ha, I forget if it's Quick Claw or a speed tie. But Voltorb does outspeed Delibird. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, come on! Thank you. As long as we can maintain the pace. Keeping pace at Alyssa is still good. Hi Voltorb. I know you wanna I know you wanna crit. I know you wanna do the crit. I know you I know you have it in you, Voltorb. Yeah, I already had a good split on Alyssa on my initial run, so we probably might lose time if we don't get fortunate here. Alright, Sudo Wudo. Alright, Kadabra. This is where you crit. This is where you crit. Give me that time. Do it now. Let's go, Kadabra. I know you got it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Aww. All right, no big problem. Eh, we'll only we'll pretty much be on par with the time. We'll probably be at like around 17 and a half minutes. Not bad. But most importantly, the time saves will come in the next three fights. So, well, Mason doesn't count. Mason goes as it's really hard to go really lucky against Mason because everything just has to go right. So it's really just Jensen and Claude that have to go perfect for me to get to at least 30. All right, but yeah, look at that. Five minutes at Jensen, that's that's not good. <laughs> just know it for record, that's not a good thing. Alright, Seedra, after Gligar does his quick attack, or Gliglar. Alright, after this quick attack, I know you can do the Surf roll. I know you can do it, Seedra. Ah. The fact that it always manages... Uh, I just wish it didn't do Quick Claw. I wonder if it saves time if I don't give Seedra an item. Cause, or does does Gligar... I need to look back. I actually should test that. I want to see if Gligar... I need to see if it has Thief, first of all. But if it does, I wonder if... No, actually, no. The whole point of Seedra is to give it an item. Stupid. Alright, never mind. Just being stupid. I didn't think that went all the way through. It would have made more sense if Seedra didn't have an item, but you're supposed to give it an item so it can use Thief, so... Not the smartest thing I've said. Oh 
What impact will this Pokemon Switch have on the battle? Black Spell Destruct! A vicious hit! There it is! Knocker! Unbelievable! They both go down! Oh All right. my, this is one wild situation. So the last can be any of those remaining pokes. The best option is literally anything but Steelix, and Steelix is a rare option. Alright, good. And it's Rapid Dash, so this makes Pyloswine all worth it. Still has a fire move. But luckily it doesn't do enough. If it crits though, that's that's a different story. So you do run the risk of that. Cause if you want you I choose Pilot Swine for to manipulate some of the team, like very few of them. But the reason I do for Pilot Swine is for that reason. You could do Dawn Fan and play it safer, because it doesn't knock it out even with a crit. But you don't get the same team manipulation outcome as if you were to bring Pilot Swines. But that's why I do it. It's riskier, admittedly. For a dedicated Pokeball run, it is m on more on the um, good side because you're trying to risk that time. But it may not be the smartest place. Dawn Fan is still safer just because you rule out a lot more possibilities. But depending on what you're going for, you might not get the exact team that you want. All right, Claude. All right, seven minutes, and Claude is supposed to not take seven minutes. If I can bring it to at least 25 minutes, 25 to 25 and a half minutes, I definitely can get around the 30 minute mark. But I just need more of things going my way and a ounce of luck just an ounce of luck it's better protected against physical attack there's the attack Great hit. Mm. yeah that would have been good if sneasel didn't have the leftovers Mm, that could be a good thing, just because I know with the special drop that might convince Mr. Mime to just straightforward go for the, um, for the side beam. So that's not a bad thing. Oh, I guess that also helps too. All right, so now I'm within Mr. Mime to do side beam, so now I can just sacrifice Cedra. Okay. Oh, it's Mr. Mott. I still gotta get very lucky. It used a berry to restore its HP. The white hot battle continues. Reverse the fight! That's it! Oh, oh! Alright, this is where I have to get lucky. This is where the time save can actually happen. I have to get the roll with Miracoat. If I don't, then I run the risk of losing the time. Yes, perfect. I got the range. Thank, thank you, Mr. Mai. Finally getting the range on me. Alright, Clefable. Alright, it normally goes for Charm. Alright, good, the Reflect is off too, so I can go for Self-Destruct. Weird thing is, Clefable goes for Charm, which 
I guess makes sense to a certain extent. Not really, but you know, it does what it wants to do. Ah, oh, the crit there would have been nice. Still goes for charm. Round two, ladies and gents. It has Mega Kick, which can it can knock out my. Oh, I should have done Thunder Punch. Whatever. It has Mega Kick, which can knock out my Kadabra in one hit, but it still decides to go for. Oh, come on! I didn't want to see that. Whatever. All right, the time save on Claude still happened. I'm at. I'm gonna be at a little bit under 26 minutes. So I won't break just under 30 minutes, but I will get at around 30 if everything goes right with Mason. So all in all, I should still save. I should still hit around the 30 minute mark, which will be the improvement I was looking for. Yeah, cause four. Yeah, about four minutes. So if everything goes right, I should hit Claude at around 30 minutes. 30 minutes 30 seconds is that right okay i was trying to figure out where wheezing was and i just couldn't see it Gotta switch to Haunter because it does not stay in. Oh, and a Pokemon switch. Oh, it's Haunter. The other trainer is also. It, really? The only way in this fight, based on the based on the strat, I have to do the only way I can actually save time oh, is if I crit the Prime Ape. Destiny one. <laughs> I was about to hit Shadow Ball and I would have cried because I would have ruined the run. I would have lost. All right, gotta go Weezing because it does go Quagsire. At least I hope it does. It always goes Quagsire next. All right, good. I've never seen it ever go Primate back. Back to Primate ever. All right, gotta self-destruct. A crit here would be amazing. And it goes for cross chop. If it lands it, we still win. If it misses, we still win. If it crits, we're done. A crit cross chop from Primate knocks out Kadabra. We have to get fortunate here. Critic Kadabra, please. Ah. Oh. I got the range. I got the range. Let's go. Let's go, Kadabra! Oh, beautiful stuff! That is such a great end. That is such a great end. I'm sorry if I'm breaking my mic right now. That is such a great end. 
unbelievable. I never got the range on Primate. Let's go. I honestly don't even know how easy or hard it is to get the range on it. Let's go. That's the improvement I wanted. Under 30 minutes. Let's go. That is a great Pokeball. That is amazing. Oh, with some fortune, fortune stuff coming in. Claude almost messed me up, though. Claude almost messed it up. Everything else just... I needed the luck. And a green split on everything. That's... That's... Also not what I was expecting either. But really, the time saves happened... From Clifford onwards. I mean, I got the improvements in all the fights. But from there, that point on, that's where it happened. Let's go. Oh, that's the confidence I needed to get back into it. Under 30 minutes at round 2 Pokeball. That's what I needed. Uh, maybe it'll give me the boost I need to go ahead and do Challenge Cup again. Because I've been getting some bad attempts here. But I need that, that spark to get me going. Oh, I still got to do everything else. I've not really touched everything at the slightest. I haven't even done any really practice runs yet. i really just been focused on Challenge. But I really wanted to improve on my Pokeball round 2. And I did. Under 30 minutes. I am proud of that. Oh, man. What a... What a run. I really did get nervous towards the end. But there's still a lot more improvement that has to be done. I still got a lot more runs to take care of. But all in due time. As always, much love, much appreciation. Catch you guys in my next attempt. One love. Peace.